Amazon Web Services, AWS. Tell us about this series. Wow. Uh, so, so yeah. It, so I guess this this may cross the. I just I just worked uh, with Brandon on recording a kind of opening. You know, like here's what the series is going to be about. And uh, so this may cross a little bit into that, but man, uh, so, so Dan, the owner of CBT Nuggets is like, hey Jeremy, great idea for you. What do you think of a series on AWS? And, and I, I said, well, I, yeah, sounds good. You know, just, just because what I knew of AWS when he asked that question was, uh, you know, you put a virtual server, and I've done that before. I, I, what, is there really that much to it? I mean, it was one of those kind of things. Uh, but then I sat down with the engineers for days and just talking through it. I'm like, no, really. And it just became uh, for a one right after another, after another, after another, where, where I'm the one going, really, really. Now, and, and so my paradigm is like, can we really get that much out of AWS? Like, is, is there enough to make a series on that? I mean, really? To where I'm like, how many series would we need? Like, you know, four, nine, 22? I mean, wh where does this thing end? It, it, it takes all of the... The, the cool technologies of everything. Of There's some networking in there, there's some server side in there, there's lots of programming in there, and development and all that, and they put it into one big ball they call AWS. I'm like, how do you, how do you create a series on that? So, so, uh, so how, do, how do I, so you said, what, 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 do, what do I feel just, about just it? The, I just wanted a, a description of it, but you're, you're kind of known as a Cisco guy or the Cisco guy, so yeah, it's, you learned a lot for this series. It's, it's a paradigm shift for sure. Um, now, the, the thing is, is my roots actually go back to Microsoft and Novell. That's where I started. Um, I started training in 1996, um, and so, so that's, that was my roots. And then around 2000, I got into Cisco and was like, okay, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, which is, uh, you know, I'm still like, Cisco is amazing. But somewhere, you know, around 2006, I'm like, oh, well, there's some other cool stuff. I'm going to start chasing, you know, not, not that Cisco's not cool, but I started chasing this other stuff. So when, when Amazon AWS came, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this like, well, this is, this is like the, the pinnacle of everything uh, to where uh, it's, it's taking every technology that I know and putting it into one giant service that they call AWS. So... So yeah, it, there is a learning curve. There's a learning, I will say, there will be a learning curve for anybody getting into AWS. Uh, it's a paradigm shift, uh, first of all. It's a blend of every technology, so you've gotta be good at a little of everything to, to get AWS down. Um, so yeah, there, you can, anyone can learn something from this, for sure. What was something that you were excited to learn about AWS? I would say, I would say the biggest, the biggest, most exciting thing I would say the most exciting thing wasn't something I was expecting to learn. It was what surprised me when I learned it. Uh, and I think that's what most people will be blown away by with AWS. As it's not a cool, I mean, okay, it is a cool technology. No, that being said, there's, but there's, everybody's got cool technology. You can name any vendor and the reason they're on the map is because they have a cool technology that people, people want to buy. So AWS is filled with cool technology, but but the paradigm that they break of what is, what is computing? What, I mean, it changes. Okay, even that's overused. Apple, like the iPhone changed everything, right? So I'm gonna steal it. AWS.